notice any like personality traits that were similar with him and people like um, Hug it, David Hug the uh, other no. David? No. no, no similarities. Not really. Oh, yeah, no, not not really. Um, I mean, they're both. I guess one thing, like the cryptozoologists and 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 these people, um, they are tend to be more introverted, and a little more hermit like and spend mm-hmm. a lot of time with themselves and self reflecting as well. But then again, those are also like, you know, people in history that have had like mystical experiences mm-hmm. um, are oftentimes, you know, people are self reflective and they go on these journeys alone. And mm-hmm. yeah. And you just find like ever since you started talking to these people and mm-hmm. filming them, you're just, you're, cons- you're constantly drawn to, these types of characters yeah yeah with beliefs that make other people want to write them off immediately like yeah. if there's someone that that someone else or most people would just say don't waste your time talking to this person they're crazy yeah i want to really dig in mm-hmm. and be like are they <clears throat> or is what they believe really crazy why do they believe it maybe if we figure that out we can understand more about ourselves um, especially with conspiracies because we have to learn how to have a dialogue about this stuff. And with these people now in our country, more than any other country is just like, it's just such a split and people are digging in on both sides. And there's, there's like no cross talk at all. And even in the same families, you know? Yeah. Well, it's a problem with, with algorithms, right? When when you start talking about one thing, it kind of just like they, they hoodwink you into, one little group of people and there's no outside perspective on like sites like YouTube and Twitter. And just kind of like feed you all the same shit. You know, so curious if Facebook didn't exist where we would be at. I know. Right. (laughs) God. And then, and then, you know, on top of that, which was something I talked to Cullen about is the whole censorship thing, how YouTube and Google, especially and Twitter, they censor a lot of the conversations around the conspiratorial stuff. And it pushes those people to the chans like eight chan and, and eight coon pushes them to Reddit and bit then shoot and then bit shoot. Yeah. yeah. And then once they get banned off these big websites like Twitter, it just makes them more emboldened mm-hmm. to stand by their, whatever they, whatever it is they believe. Yeah. And they push it even harder because yeah. they feel like they're the one that's, you know, got the boot on their neck. Right. Which is fascinating how all these, you know, the whole, uh, Q thing blew up from that, you know, is when, is when, um, the whole Q thing got banned from Reddit. And it pushed it to the chans, which is which is essentially, if you follow the timeline, what blew it up, you know, into this massive mainstream thing. Mm-hmm. That everyone thinking that Donald Trump was some superhero that was going to take down these evil cabal. And still do. Yeah, yeah, and still do. And they're still waiting for JFK Jr. to to come back. Oh from yeah, the dead and <laughs> oh my in God. Dallas, you know. And his uh, yeah, his uh, his uh, memorial is the shape of a Q, the letter Q. <laughs> And, and, uh, oh man, they have it is vigil, weird. vigil for him still in like, there was some, they were waiting for him, I think like a week ago and really yeah. in Dallas. <laughs> yes, yeah. Really? Waiting did for you Jim. go there and film it? I didn't No, I, I did not. But the, that Q and, you know, Q non anonymous podcast, they, they had someone there, I think. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet that, I bet you would have caught some interesting characters there. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the whole I've stayed away from the the Q verse, hmm. and even the like the Q verse and the the sort of more political mm-hmm. conspiracies because it, everyone else is covering that like Vice yeah. and and other you know TV channels and websites and stuff. So I'm less interested in mm-hmm. the more current affairs. Have stuff. you seen the HBO documentary? I, you know, I haven't. Oh my I God, really should. Dude. Yeah. It's, it reminds me so much of your work. Uh-huh. It's like, it's, it's so it's, it reminds me of the same type of people, you know, these outcasts, yeah. yeah. the outcasts, the people that, you know, the lone, you know, have no sense of community. don't have a lot of, you know, it's, it's sad, but it's so fascinating at the same time, you yeah. know, the, and, and here, like in this area, it's like, you're, I'm right in the middle of it. There's so many people like that in Florida. Florida yeah. It's just, I mean, I'm in Texas, so I've never been to Texas. I've uh-huh. been to Texas. I've, I've like, I've, in the airport uh-huh. i've never been outside the airport yeah i mean i'm in the austin bubble okay so you're in like the like the silicon valley of texas yeah it just seems like like you know other cities i've lived like i used to live in like miami and fort lauderdale did you really i did yeah and in seattle and you know toronto and you You've know been all over the place yeah like liberal cities and and um austin's like that but like when you 
leave. Alex Jones hospital. lives there, doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. Which is funny, yeah. <laughs> and he likes it, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. He loves it, you know, he yeah. loves being on all those podcasts yeah. that are in Austin. Exactly. Yeah. And he just got, didn't, I saw on the news today that he, he got charged or he got pled or he yeah, got. Doesn't look good. He's guilty for the Sandy Hook thing, right? Doesn't look good. I know a filmmaker who, um, she just, she's, she's wrapping her movie on him, her doc. Oh, really? Yeah, Alex's War. She was embedded with him for like a year. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like working, f- like doing her documentary with his permission? Yeah. Really? Yeah. She did that doc, um, that feel when no GF, I don't know, TFW, no GF, about incels. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Um, and so she's kind of was in that community and um, got access to Alex. And he was cool with it. Yeah. I don't know the whole story, but yeah. Okay. He, Is it, have you seen the the final? No. You haven't seen, because they just it's, wrapped it, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like, it's going to be in between. It's okay. not, it's going to be sort of like both sympathetic and uh, right, right. showing him for how he not just he not just like a hit piece trying to make yeah. him look like a piece I think of that's shit. the only reason why you know she's he's able human to get into yeah, yeah to film have him. you ever met him no I've seen him yeah just going crazy at, <laughs> at uh, uh, like Barton Spr- Barton Springs or sorry the the green belt which is just like like walking trail mm-hmm. and at the start of COVID you had to have like a reservation to use the trail so really? it wouldn't get too crowded mm-hmm. and Alex just showed up to go walking there and he didn't have a reservation, and he just, like, lost his mind on the, like, poor park person. Just this kid who was like, I'm sorry, I can't let you really? in. Yeah, and he was just, you know, ranting and about And you saw him just yeah. berating some kid? <laughs> wow. It's on YouTube, too. Wow. Yeah. Have you uh, have you followed the uh, Bohemian Grove thing? Yeah. I mean, that was kind of great. I, th- I thought that was fun. Um, that was, you know, before Alex Jones was like had sort of picked a side politically <clears throat> he hated all politicians yeah. it seemed like um and you know it seems like he's back there now oh really okay just from like l- lately i've seen him on a couple of podcasts <laughs> and he seems like he's changed his tune on on uh, you know he used to be like hardcore like trump yeah guy. now he's like anti-trump again okay <laughs> he changes with the wind i guess yeah i mean and everyone seemed to hate bush back then yeah so. Yeah. No, that documentary that he did was pretty fucking cool back then, that mm-hmm. he did way back in the day. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Huh. So, uh...